this video how to program the Veritas Excel. This is also what you do if you forget your code and need to reset the whole entire system. So I've made a few changes to these zones at the minute. So for the purpose of learning, I'm going to reset the system and reprogram it from fresh. So what I'm going to do is disconnect the battery and remove the power supply. I've disconnected the bell in this case, just uh, not to annoy the neighbours. Reinsert the fuse and press the temper switch three times. And here it starts its turn. Reattach your battery connector. <coughs> And come to the keypad. Enter in the default code, which is four, three, two, one. System shuts up. You have a tamper light on there. That's because the lid's open on the panel at the minute. And type in one, two, three, four, which is the default engineer code. Followed by program. Takes a second to load up, and you're in the menu. First thing I'm going to do is change the text and the zones just to make it easier, life easier for myself. So the first thing in there is the zone text program to edit. Zone one I've now changed to front door. Sorry about that. Um, try that again. Also, your text fields, if you've got a new system, will be empty. Front DR. Don't doll fit. Press yep. Two is. It is still the back door. I haven't changed that one. Three is now the hallway. Four is now the kitchen. And five is the living room. Six is the landing. Seven still the panic alarm, and eight is still the smoke detector in the hallway. That's there now, all set. Press no to go back, and no again. And go back to zone types. Press yes. As you can see, it comes factory set with zone one as the entry exit point, which in this case is my front door. So now I've changed the text, I can see what it is. That's the reason why I did that first. So entry exit point, that's what I want it to be. I'll oh, press yes. The back door in this case is inhibit entry, but I don't want it to be that because it is an entry route as well. So I'm going to change that. I can change that by pushing the number. Uh, freeze guard, I'll start at one, sorry. One is push to set, don't worry about that one. Two is inhibited entry, that means you can walk through it, but you have to start an entry timer first. If you walk through that zone first, it'll set the alarm straight off. Freeze guard, meaning regardless of whether you start an entry timer, if you walk into that area, it'll go off. Four is fire, used for smoke detectors and such. Five is tamper, if you want to have an individual tamper circuit for each sensor. Uh, two, uh, sorry, six even, is entry exit, which means that it starts an entry timer as soon as you set off that device. Seven is panic button. And don't worry about eight. Nine, zero, do nothing. In this case, it was going to be six for entry exit as it's a back door. Yes, again. Tones to confirm. 
Hallway, in this case, wants to be an inhibited access because I need to go through the hallway. Kitchen is also a, an entry route. And the living room and landing can stay at guard. Seven is the panic button, change that to panic. And eight is a hall smoke detector, change that to four for fire. And that is the zone set up. Watch for my next video, how to part set zones. Please like and subscribe.